The moment is here, you can stop your search. It's Comics by Perch. Hey everybody, this is Perch. Um, here's a, an email that I think really doesn't have much to do with comics, but, you know, it's being asked about comics. So, so here we go. It says, Dear Sir Perchington. <laughs> uh, it's going to go in a crazy direction. One of the things that seems forever attached to comics is the idea of begging. A number of creators seem to regularly beg for money, not beg for their comics to be bought, Sometimes that happens, but usually just beg for money. There are GoFundMes that are set up, and I'm not talking about ones where someone has a serious health issue and the family is raising money for surgery, something like that, like we saw for Peter David or Bill Loeb's. I'm talking about just flat out begging for money for stupid things, like I need a new mattress, or my earbuds fell out and I lost one. Will you please help me buy one? Or things like that. Yes, everybody wants a mattress, and I'm sure headphones are nice, but the idea to go online to beg for them as a comic creator seems demeaning. Do you think that begging is forever attached with comics? <laughs> and, then, and then it goes, How annoyed do these people make you, and have you ever thought about just giving your YouTube channel money to some of these poor bastards so they'll shut up. <laughs> well, um, like Norman Osborne taught us in that issue of Red Goblin, if you have yourself three shoes and uh, somebody else only has one shoe, you can't give people your extra shoe because then they'd just be pricks and come for your other two shoes as well. <laughs> anyway, I post up, if you're like, what the hell is he talking about? I post up these pages uh, in the community section on the channel. And it's one of those cases where, you know, the, the analogy that the writer was attempting to make was basically, and you could take it either direction, basically that, hey, there are people who are rich who are hoarding things that could easily go to help out another human being, but they're rotten people because they won't share. Or if you take the other version of that, um, hey, you know, if you give somebody something for free, then they're going to come and they're going to demand more things for free and, and you're not actually helping them out. You're just creating a dependence. Uh, you, you, either way, you take that. Um, and, and people argued in the comment section about it, but the problem I had was the analogy was built on the premise that you're walking around with three shoes, like somehow, somehow of you bought a pair of shoes that comes with three shoes, not two. And I find like, it's one of those cases where they, they want to make an analogy, but they pick the dumbest possible way to make it three shoes. I've got three shoes. And, um, and several people are like, no, no, just ignore that part. No, I can't. That's the entire point of the analogy. You can't ignore that. You can't ignore the crux of the analogy. It makes it a stupid analogy. Um, but anyway, uh, it was three shoes, Norman. They used to call that guy three shoes, Norman. And he was a real player, I tells you. Anyway, um, so I, I, you know, first off, kind of like I said at the beginning, to, the, to answer the question, I don't think begging is really attached to comics because there is plenty of begging in various communities, whether you're on doll Twitter or whether you're on fan art, uh, you know, Twitter, or whether you're on, you know, Freeform, Freaky, Facebook, whatever. I, I don't know. Whatever you're at, there is a level of, hey, I would like some money, buy me shit, begging, that goes on. And in many ways, it's the, you know, the e-version or the virtual version uh, of, you know, the guy who's standing at the stoplight with a bucket trying to say, you know, I'm starving, please feed me, or who am I kidding, I want beer, please give me money, or just somebody who comes and just starts tapping on your window until you either pay them or drive off. Uh, that's what this is. So the next time you see, uh, you know, and I don't know who several of the people you're referencing, I know Joe Glass is asking for money for earbuds, uh, but or he wanted, in, in fairness to him, he wanted you to buy his comic so you could afford earbuds. And my answer is just go to five below. You can get those earbuds super cheap, barely an inconvenience right there really quickly. Uh, but but anyway, be that as it may, I don't know if they have five below there in, in uh, the UK. But uh, but you see this everywhere. Uh, so I've just taken, like when I'm driving around, I'm at an off ramp and I pull up and, you know, I'm just trying to make my way. And there's some bum that's kind of, you know, begging there on the street. I'm I like, I'm like, oh, there's there's mags or there's. Joe Glass, or there's, you know, one of the other numerous people who, who beg. That's, that's, I just, I just started attaching 
names to them. I'm like, oh, I have this, you know, disheveled guy with a beard, no, no, no shirt. Uh, you know, this is bag. So I, that's, you know what, that's going to get me into trouble. That analogy. So now I become three shoes Norman. Anyway, um, and it's just what it is. I don't think it has much to do with comics. It's just we have a generation, we have a group of people who are comfortable asking for money. They're just they're they're comfortable saying, you know, please give me something for nothing so I can go buy something that I want. That's just that's it's you know, some people are okay with that, and that's what they do. So, you know, we could point and clown all I want. I again, in fairness, I know Joe Glass has asked for money at various times, but um I do uh give him credit for, you know, in this latest case with the earbuds, I mean he's trying to get that money by selling you something, meaning his comics. And whether or not you find those valuable is a different story, but I think there's a major difference between, hey, I would like to buy a new guitar, you know, go to my GoFundMe, or, or you know, worse, the, hey, I, I need a place to live, money's really tight, I really need, uh, I really need some help, I need to pay for my rent, please, you know, please fund my GoFundMe, and then you do that, and then Mag starts posting photos of the new guitar that she bought, and you're like, what the hell, did I just... Did I just buy Mags a guitar? I thought I was buying for rent. But anyway, be that as it may. Uh, Joe is selling comics, so I give I give Joe credit for that. But, I, you know, I, I, if I don't... I would pretty much starve rather than ask for money. I just don't... I, I can't do it. I, I just can't... You know, I can't do it. Um, I'm, I'm not... I'm wired to never want to take any kind of charity ever. And thankfully, you know, I've, I've worked hard, so I haven't, I haven't needed to, and I've been lucky and I'm you know, blessed or whatever you want to say. I've been, you know, I've been very thankful that I've never been in the position where I've had to, or even had to contemplate it. Um, but I, you know, I, I think many of us, you know, and I, and certainly when I was, you know, in college and I'm making my way through things and, you know, I'd like money to buy a brand new gaming system and chair and huge ass TV and all the rest of that kind of stuff. But I, I didn't have it. I didn't have that money. I was working to get it. You know, I was not one of the trust fund kids that was just born into things. I, you know, if I wanted something, I had to earn it. And so, but, but I never, I would, I would go without rather than ask somebody to buy for me. I just, I, I think it, it's gross. <laughs> Quite frankly, I, for me, I, I think it creates a dependence that I just never want. I never want to be in that position where I feel beholden to someone else. Because they got me something, I, I did, it, it, it ruins relationships and everything else. I just don't want to be, I don't want to be that. I like, I like to be free and clear. And if it means I don't get my big screen TV or whatever it happens to be, you know, when I want it, but you know, in return or in exchange, I'm not beholden to anyone. That's a that's a good trade. I'm taking that trade. So I mean, in general, that's that's kind of where I view. But I don't, I don't think. I mean, lots of people made lots of jokes, for sure. But I don't really think it has too much to do with comics. I think it's just, if there's a personality type that has no problem with it and thinks it's okay, and they do it. That's pretty much all there is to it. What do you think? Begging? Um, I don't know. Is it gross? Do you, do you hate it? I always look at it and feel like, man, um, I, I don't, I couldn't, again, I couldn't do it. And especially online, and especially if you were a target of people. And look, some of these people, you know, there's been various videos made about how they're not talented or, you know, all the rest, you know, people clowning on them. And given that, um, I, I, I could do it. I mean, there's no way I could do it. It's because, you know, you're just like, it's like you're, you're painting a giant ass target kind of on, on yourself uh, by begging for money. Because everybody's going to clown on you about it. I, I, I wouldn't, I just, I'm like, nope, I'd rather, I'd rather not have that guitar. Anyway, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Begging, is begging now part of comics? Is that an inherent part of comics? Oof. No, thank you. Thanks for listening.